Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm here with my Spookathon wrap up. How did you do? Did you enjoy it? Did you complete all your challenges? I didn't, not quite. Nearly, but not quite. So, how did you do? I'm dying to know. I'll be watching all the wrap ups later. So, um, I'll just go through all the books that I chose and tell you what I thought of them. And obviously if I finish them, there's only one I didn't finish, so I'm still reading that one. So. The first one I finished was The Woman in Cabin 10. As I explained, I read this in one day, in one, one day. And that was on the first day, that was on Monday. I enjoyed it, I wasn't expecting too much from it and I think that's why I enjoyed it. I knew there was a bit of um, funny stuff going around about the ending. I completely agree. It was like they were asking you to believe the impossible. So yeah, it was all right. I gave this, I think, three out of five stars in the end because I did enjoy the beginning. It was just the end that was a bit hard to believe. So I did finish that one and I gave it three out of five stars. And like I said, I finished it on day one. Now, the next book took me a little bit longer to read and that was The Salem Witch Society by K.N. Shields. I was quite disappointed in this one, to be honest. You know, there was nothing horrifically bad about it. But there's nothing particularly good about it either. I mean, it took me a long time, it took me three or four days to read this. It's not a huge book. You know what I'm like with reading. It's only 486 pages long. I just found it very, very hard going. It seemed to go on longer than it did. And I felt that the, the main character of Percival Gray, or Percy Gray, was... K.N. Shields attempt to create a Sherlock Holmes type character in the sense he does the whole you see but you do not observe oh I can tell you were doing this this and this last weekend and they're like how and then he explains but it didn't have the suave sophistication of Sherlock Holmes and nor was the writing as smooth and oh, I don't know it's just as smooth and well thought out as Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and I do love Sherlock Holmes and so that let it down the overall idea I really thought was a very good one and it really picked up the pace in the last 50 to 75 pages and that those were the best bits so I actually in the end I gave this two out of five stars so I was quite disappointed I was expecting so much more from this one I did really really enjoy was Fear the Darkness by Betty Masterman again this one I read in pretty much a day I read it I think it was Saturday it wasn't very well Saturday so I had a sinus headache so when that finally cleared I just sat, sat and read this was brilliant. Um, it's about a former FBI agent named Bridget Quinn. She is approaching 60, so she's retired. And I thought it was very nice to have an older woman protagonist. Sometimes we get older men ones, but very unusual to get an older woman one. There is a, a few of them, um, but usually they've started out quite young and the series have been going on and on and on for so long that they've grown older. So for instance, uh, Scarpetta by uh, Patricia Cornwall. This had so many twists and turns in it, it was unreal, but they were all good. She took you on a journey following one character that possibly could be the killer and made you believe that person was trying to kill Bridget and was, you know, just a nasty piece of work. And then she turned it on its head and it turned out to be somebody completely different. I guess who it was going to be at the end before they revealed it, once they figured out it wasn't who they wanted you to think it was but I quite like that and I am that sort of person so I will try and figure out the killer sometimes I'm wrong sometimes I'm right this time I, I fi did figure it out at some point in the in the story uh, to the point I, I was thinking it right it's either going to be this character or this character um one of them was the one that Becky was leading us to and the other one was the one she wasn't so I gave this five out of five stars it was a really good read and I will be picking up more Becky Masterman um in the future this is actually the second book in the Bridget Quinn uh, series, so I do want to pick up the first one at some point. I loved it. The next one I read as part of Spookathon was The Bone Thief by Jefferson Bass. Um, this is set on the body farm, so as you know, those of you who've read thrillers and, and follow crime stuff like crime scene investigation, the body farm is a research area where bodies are just left to decompose naturally so that scientists can see how it's how it does and how different climates and different circumstances can change the way a body decomposes and so uh, the main character in this is Bill Brockton and he is in charge of the body farm and basically what happens is he is approached by the FBI to help them catch 
someone who basically launders body parts and we're not just talking about the parts you think of like the um, heart the kidneys uh, the lungs etc etc but we're talking about bones um, eyes fingers hands everything that parts of the bodies can be used now in modern medicine um, and basically it starts when they, they exhume a body that has no arms or legs the arms and legs are completely gone and then they exhume another body later on because they're investigating this one mortuary uh, and there's nothing in there at all just some bags of sand and in the third one they exhume they find two bodies I don't think there were supposed to be two in there but I'm not going to give you any more hints this was a really really good book I enjoyed it I gave it four out of five stars it's pretty gruesome it is pretty gruesome but still good so I really enjoyed that so the one I didn't actually get to finish sadly was Stephen King's uh, Bazaar of Bad Dreams but as you can see I am over halfway through I am really enjoying the stories they are Typical Stephen King, very, very creepy, very, very unsettling, and some are better than others. I'm not so keen on his poetry ones, but I really love the short stories. And I mean, even there's a few of them where you just, they just, oh, ugh. you keep thinking about them. The first one, uh, which is about a car, mile 81. So what is it with Stephen King and cars? You know, there's from a Buick 8, there's Christine, and now there's mile 81. And there's another one in there, I don't know what it was called. What was it called? Under the weather. Yeah, that was creepy as hell. So yes, classic Stephen King. I'm really enjoying this book. So I will hopefully be finishing in that sometime this week. So I just failed on that one. But I don't mind because I put it to one side, have a little break from it, and I'll just come back to it later in the week. So that is how I did with Spookathon. So how did you do? Did you enjoy it? Did you read lots of spooky stuff? any spooky recommendations thriller recommendations leave them down in the comments below and i will be watching all your wrap ups shortly again if you've liked this video just give me the thumbs up and don't forget to comment share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and i will see you soon bye